A case of angle recession glaucoma, a young man operated micro track filtration in a different manner. After paracentesis, the upper part of the anterior chamber is filled with helon. When you fill the anterior chamber with helon, the aqueous doesn't leak on micro track filtration. Now notice carefully, the tip is being introduced at an angle from the left and then from the right. The idea is that the tracks should converge anteriorly and diverge posteriorly. So we have to do an aridectomy. For that we need one millimeter knife. Only one millimeter just in front of the internal openings. Now the anterior chamber is deep and is filled with helon. Incision in the cornea is only one millimeter. So it's not easy to reach the iris. Therefore, press the cornea and push out helon as much as you can so that the anterior chamber becomes shallow and you can easily approach the iris with a fine iris forceps so that you can do aridectomy. So all this is attempting to remove helon and make the chamber shallow. When the chamber is sufficiently shallow, then you can try introducing RS forceps through one millimeter incision. Smaller incision is good for quick healing of the incision line. So we have been able to hold the iris and do a redectomy through one millimeter incision. There is still plenty of helon inside which we need to clear. So we take the cannula inside the anterior chamber and aspirate. Then here is helon from the anterior chamber. Put air in the anterior chamber, you still find helon which you can aspirate. When sufficiently removed, you put air in the anterior chamber. The, the peculiarity of this surgery is that we have made two converging tracks and we have done aridectomy through just one millimeter incision. And the conjunctival holes are far away so there is no need for application of sutures to the conjunctival. We inject mitomycin 2 milligram in 4 ml of saline. Here it is. The surgery is complete.